What's up everyone and welcome back for another video here on my channel. Thank you so much for joining me on today's video. If you're one of my returning subscribers, thank you for coming on back and continuing to support and motivate me. You already know I appreciate the support and I love you guys for it. But if this does happen to be your first time stopping by, hello and welcome. My name is Monet. I am 26 years old and here on this channel, I am all about budgeting, managing my money and just taking you guys along my journey as I try to figure it out. So I am a cash budgeter. I have been using the cash envelope system for the past three years. It helps me save. It helped me get out of debt. So I just come on here, showcase it, and hopefully I can teach others and show you guys how easy it is. And you can learn to use the system as well. So if that sounds like something you are into, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Join the family and don't forget to click the bell so you will be notified whenever I upload my next video. So within today's video, I am feeling so much better. So I want to thank you all for sending me your well wishes and hoping that I feel better. It's been a week. I feel like I am over it. So I am happy to be back. And with this video, we are going to be doing my sinking funds update. So at the end of each month and before I start the next month, I like to come in and see how my sinking funds are looking, see what I spent the money on and validate that the amount that I have on paper is what is in my envelopes. So if you're interested in seeing how much I saved, then just keep on watching. All right, so as always, when it comes to my sinking funds, I have my sinking funds sheet right in front of me. If you aren't familiar, all of the sheets that you see me use within my channel, I do have them available as a digital download. I create them each month. It's a budget kit that you can use if you also find it helpful. I have sinking funds, debt tracker, paycheck breakdown, a calendar, weekly check-ins, expense tracker, everything that I use that helped me when I first started my journey and still continues to help me, I put it in a kit. So so be sure to check out the description down below. I have them within my Etsy and my website. So also in addition to us filling out the sinking funds, I will be condensing the cash that is in my envelopes because they are just getting a little thick and whenever they do, I like to condense them so not so many bills are within the envelopes. So the first thing that I do with filling out this sheet is I do look at my sinking funds from the month before because the end balance is going to be our starting balance. So I'm just gonna go ahead and write that so we have a good starting point. All right, so looking at my funds at the start of the month, we had annual payments with 170, car maintenance with 856, car insurance 280, Christmas 205, gifts with 75, household 85, medical 430, travel $8. So that was a grand total of 2,109 for all of my sinking funds. And just the preference for this month with my sinking funds, I was in the mentality of save, save, save. So I don't think I used anything in terms of taking money out. I literally just wanted to save for the month of September. So majority of this video will probably just be me condensing my envelopes, which is something that I need to do. So let me go ahead and set up everything so that we can do this in the best manner that I don't confuse myself. So hopefully all of this looks good. Over here we have the envelopes for my sinking funds. And then this is cash that I take out for my taxes. So I'm working with a limited supply, but whatever we can condense with these funds, we will try. So at the end of each month, I also deposit my taxes from all of my side income. And for the month, that was a total of $1,006. So that is how much money this is. And once we're done with all of the exchanging, 
I should end with $1,006. So let's just try and see how this goes and hope that I have enough big bills to transfer out these small bills. So the next thing that I do to fill out my sinking fund sheet, this column is for any money that got added. This column is for any money that I took out. And then the end balance is what should be in the envelope. Down here, I list my transactions related to my sinking funds. It's a good way to tell me exactly what I spent my money on and a nice reflection as always. Just when you write down and see what you're doing with your money, you can think maybe, you know, I'm doing too much with the household fund, which is something I was doing. So I'm trying to dial back, but that's why I like to look at the end of each month and see what I did. So the first fund that we have up at the top is for annual payments. Annual payments, I was able to add money from my income with my two paychecks that I received. This is for things such as Netflix, Hulu, Apple Music, AAA, anything that I pay once a year. That is what I use these funds for. So for the month, I was able to add $45 and I did not take anything out. So 45 and zero. So if we started with 170, adding 45, we should now have $215 in the envelope. So checking out annual payments. We have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 10, 15. So 215 for annual payments. I think I'm just going to exchange 100 from the 20s because I am going to have to start making payments soon. And they're not all big bills. So I will probably need these 20s and 10s eventually. So if we do 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, take down these 20s grab 100, we have 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 10, 15. So 215, that's great. And we were still able to condense the envelope. So that is a plus. Up next, we move into car maintenance. Car maintenance we added from our income. And for the month, that was a total of $80 that this envelope received. So adding 80, I took nothing out. So 856 plus 80, that gives me $936. That should be in the envelope. So checking out car maintenance. We do have a $500 placeholder. So that just means $500 is in the bank. So I don't have to have that in the envelope. So in cash, we have 600. 700, 750, 770, 790, 810, 830, 850, 870, 890, 910, 930, 935, and 936. So that is true. 936 is in the envelope. So let us do these 50s make $200. So we're just going to grab two $100 bills. And then we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. I'm going to put these 20 downs for 250s just so I can try and save the hundreds for where I might need them. So now adding all of this together, we have 500, 600, 700, 800, 850, 870, 890, 910, 930, 935, 936. We still have our 936 for car maintenance. Moving along, we have car insurance. And for the month, this envelope was also able to receive $80. So 80, I did not take any money out. 280 plus 80 gives us 360. So this is an envelope I know is all in 20s. So I can definitely condense that. And this will be due soon. So shouldn't have this for too long. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 40, 60. So correct, 360. And if we take out $60, we know that this is $300 in 20s. So I'm just gonna put all of that down and grab three $100 bills. 100, 200, 300, 20, 40, 60. So there we go, 360 for our car insurance. Up next, we get into 
Christmas. Christmas for the month, we were able to add $40. Adding 40, I have yet to begin Christmas shopping, which is something I should do. So if we started with 205, add 40, we should be left with $245. Checking out the envelope. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 200. 10, 20, 30, 40, 45. So that is correct, $245. I think I'm gonna exchange $200 in 50s. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200. In 20s, grabbing four 50s. And then we have 10, 20, 30, 40, and then a five. I think I'm gonna just keep the tens because once I begin Christmas shopping, I might not need all large bills. So we'll leave it at this for now. It got condensed, so that's the important part. Up next, we have gifts. Gifts for the month got $30. So adding 30, took nothing out. 75 plus 30, that gives me 105. So looking at gifts, we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, five. So 105, honestly, I think I just wanna transfer all these tens to 20s because sometimes with gifts, I just get like a $20 gift card or $25. So I feel like 20s would be more beneficial for me. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, five. So there we go, 105 in gifts. All right, up next, we have the infamous household envelope. So for the month, this envelope received $60. So adding 60, I took nothing out, which is a surprise, surprise. So 85 plus 60, that means I have $145 in the envelope. Let's check and make sure. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45. So that is true, $145. I think I'm going to, do I have any 50s? No. So I have one $100 bill left. I may have to leave this envelope as is because, oh no, travel might have big bills already because I've been adding to that. I'll do at least a 50 in here. So I'll put down a 20 and a 10 and grab the last 50. And then the rest, I'll just keep it as is. We're running out of large bills. So we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 120, 130, 140, and 145. So that's good. $145 in household. All right, next up we have medical. Medical for the month got $20. So adding 20, we use none of it. 430 plus 20 gives us 450 that we should be left with. Checking out medical. 100, 200, 300, 350, 370, 390, 400, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So that is true, $450. Let us, hmm, we don't have any more bills that we can really do, but let's exchange at least these tens for 20. So we have 20, 40, 60, so that works. So we can put these 10 down in place of three 20s. So we have 100, 200, 300, 350, 370, 390, 410, 430, 450. So $450 and we will put that back in the envelope. All right, and then last up, we have good old travel, which is my priority for the next couple of months. So travel for the month did receive 460. So adding 460, I took out none. Eight plus 460, that gives us $468. In the envelope, we have 
100, 200, 300, 400, 450, 460, 465, 66, 67, 68. So yeah, this envelope is basically as condensed as it can be. So $468 in travel looks good. So those are all of my sinking funds and it definitely got condensed. So I am happy about that. This just puts less pressure on my binder and I can actually close it. So yes, that is definitely helpful. So now that we have everything done, let's go ahead and add up our total and see what we get. All right, so that is a grand total for my sinking funds with $2,924. So clearly an improvement from the month before and we just saved, saved, saved. So that is how I do my sinking funds. It's a quick, simple sheet, not too much to it. And now that I completed that, I just wanna go ahead and count up my money real quick to make sure I didn't mess anything up. Because as we know, this should be $1,006. So let's see, we have 100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, 20, 40, 60, 80, 500, 20, 40, 60, 80, 600, 20, 40, so that's 640, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200, 10, 20, 30, 40, so 240 plus 5, 10, 15, 20, 20, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, $6. So perfect. $1,006 is correct. And I can go ahead and deposit this into my taxes account. All right, everyone, so there you have it. Thank you so much for sitting with me and sticking for the video if you made it to the end to validate my sinking funds. As always, if you have any questions or if you wanna see anything in additional to what I show, be sure to let me know down in the comments below and I will try to do what I can for you. As always, these videos are for you to help. So definitely let me know and let me know that you enjoy the video with a thumbs up because that really just helps and supports and share my channel with anybody that you think would also enjoy. But as for today, you guys, that's all I have for the video. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you all next time in my next one. Bye guys.